LaPera, an occupational therapist at Burke Rehabilitation, and today I'm talking to you about energy conservation. First and most important, performing tasks in the seated position conserves more energy when performing them in the standing position. So when performing tasks, sit whenever you need to. Second, it's important to have things within your reach when performing tasks. Reaching and bending for objects is more stressful than having them right in front of you, particularly when you have to reach below or reach above, with reaching below being more stressful. So have items directly in front of you when performing tasks. In general, work at a moderate pace. Balance work and rest and avoid clutter be organized when performing your activities. Next, I'm going to give you a list of suggestions when performing activities. Number one, you want to transport items using a cart or pushing or sliding them. That will conserve more energy than carrying them. Second, you want to prioritize the activities that you perform throughout the day or the week or the week. Prioritizing is one of the three P's of energy conservation. I will get to the other two P's later in this presentation. Third, you want to avoid holding objects for any length of time, particularly heavy objects. You want to push or slide them. Fourth, you want to avoid your arms overhead for any length of time. As I said, reaching overhead for activities is more stressful than performing activities directly in front of you. So have your, your work area set up so that the objects that you need are directly in front of you. Next, you want to allow sufficient time for performing your activities. And that brings me to planning, one of the other P's of energy conservation along with prioritizing. Make sure that you plan your activities throughout the week or the day. Next, you want to reduce or eliminate unnecessary steps in your activities. That is, again, prioritize your activities. You want to stop and rest before you become short of breath, dizzy, or tired. So this is pacing, the third P in energy conservation with prioritizing and planning. Stop and rest before you become short of breath, dizzy or tired. Next, you want to divide responsibilities among members of your household. You should not be doing everything yourself. Ask for help when you need it. It's very important. Again, you want to be organized in your work area when performing activities. Push or slide items rather than carrying them. Use lightweight or electric tools when performing your activities. You can also use assisted devices. Examples of assisted devices are reachers, a long-handled shoehorn, or a sponge, and your occupational therapist will be happy to go over using these assisted devices with you. Again, you don't want to use two hands overhead, but using two hands when you perform your activities will be helpful to you. Also, you can rest your elbows on the table. Again, perform your work when you have the most energy. But you must remember that it's a balance. To summarize, it's important to remember that while you want to practice good energy conservation techniques, you also want to balance this with challenging your endurance. So if you are feeling good one day, remember to perform your lunch activities in a standing position or maybe your shower. Balance your work and rest and challenge your endurance when you feel up to it, as well as using your energy conservation techniques. Well, that's all I have on energy conservation today. Thank you for listening to my presentation and listen to other presentations in the DVD. Once again, thank you.